the journey to me, I guess the biggest thing I took away from it was just learning how to abide with the Lord. I learned a lot about myself and my walk, but as we went through a couple, as a couple, we ran into a lot of the conflict that we face as a couple and how we work through that and, and gave us a lot of tools, at least for me, gives a lot of tools to work through that and, and, and center us back on the word. I found that the journey to the inner chamber and the discipleship program of going through the journey for about a nine month period with other men was the most profound spiritual growth experience that I've ever had in my life. Those brothers who came alongside of me in my time of need and just continued to love on me and, and point me back to our Father. And I sat there and I listened to 14 other guys share their life, share their struggles, share what they were going through. And I realized they're all just like me. God started to show me that I didn't have a real abiding, re abiding relationship with Him. I realized that being a doer, a human doer, was not what God wanted. What changed my life in the journey was is I need to be a beer, a human being, and basically abide with our Lord. There was a change, there was a softening in my heart. There was a consistency, you know, doing the assignments, the reading, the journaling, the digging deeper into scriptures. So when you start the journey, you start a journaling process where you journal through scripture, and um, other different questions and prompts that it gives you, um, which I had never experienced before. And it completely changed the way I heard the Holy Spirit, I guess. It hasn't been about completing the exams or completing the assignments. It's been about taking time in the Word, taking time to understand how you pray, how you care for those around you, really how you um, make the word living in your life. Little did I know that the more that I would press into Christ to know him more, to spend daily intimate time reading his word, which is the essence of him, that that would be how I would become more like Christ and in so doing would just automatically bear fruit. like Jesus told his disciples in John 15, that he wanted all of us to have. He said, if you abide in me and I in you, you will bear forth much fruit. But it was such a wonderful experience um, and really learning to abide and what that looks like, what that means um, for us and what the scripture says about that. John 15 became very, very important to me to realize that a branch just has to be in the vine. And then everything flows from that. The fruit, the life, um, the joy, the dealing and coping with, with issues, it all comes from being connected with the vine. One of the foundational truths of this ministry, um, and that is to trust in Him and walk with Him and trust in the fact that He had us and that uh, He was going to walk with us the entire time. And he did. Also walking with a group of people consistently for 10 months and investing in their lives and they invest in your life, you realize that that was really the, 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 the design that Jesus modeled and used in his ministry on earth. Those men helped me in ways that I can never thank them enough for. I've just gotten a new understanding of really just how to view God and how to view how He works um, in our lives and how He truly cares about everything that we're going through. And the journey taught me how to journal. The journey uh, helped me express things uh, that I was going through in, in words. Really illuminated kind of um, how there's spiritual uh, things going on around us all the time. And I began to understand more and more. I'm finally 
starting to enter into the inner chamber and finally the fruit began to be released through me expressing God's love to my wife and children and our lives have been changing a lot. I realized that I can't be a disciple if I'm not making disciples. This ministry is just amazing how it's changed me and how it's changed so many lives around me. If you're thinking that you need to go deeper with God and you want to learn what it means to be a branch that abides in the vine, please, please consider this journey. It's changed my life. I would, I would um, highly encourage you to find a journey group and get plugged in. And um, while it is a commitment, it is worth every minute. Um, and the outcome is just incredible. I owe my life to this ministry. I owe, and I often say that this ministry saved my life. And there's so many days that I thank God for this ministry. Please enter into the journey process. It's an amazing process that's going to challenge you and going to teach you uh, how to abide in Jesus Christ. And as a consequence, the fruit of the Spirit will be start to, to move through you. So it's been dramatically impactful for our relationship and uh, we think it could be impactful for yours too. I encourage you to read the journey of the inner chamber, find out about a journey group, sign up in your area, go to influencers.org, that's influencers.org to learn more. And I just want to pray a blessing that God will reveal to you his purposes and his desire to have an intimate abiding relationship with Christ. I know that if you do the journey, you will be blessed.